Hot News Bradenton Sarasota North Port has the fourth highest rate of pedestrian deaths in the nation. January 23, 2019 0744M Walking may be hazardous to your health. In Florida, 9 of the 20 deadliest U.S. cities for pedestrians are in Florida, with Orlando ranked as least safe and the Bradenton Sarasota North Port Metro Area ranked number 4 in the 2019 Dangerous by Design report from and the The report ranks cities using a Pedestrian Danger Index, or PDI, which measures how deadly it is for people to walk based on the number of people struck and killed by drivers while walking taking into account M area's population and the share of people who walk to work. The report showed that Bradenton Sarasota's PDI increased by the highest percentage in the U.S. since the organization's last report in 2016. For the most comprehensive local coverage, subscribe today. Florida which was built for speed, retained its distinction as the place where a person who is walking is most likely to be struck and killed by a driver. Harrowing data showed that between 2008 and 2017 the number of annual pedestrian deaths in the U.S. increased by 35.7 percent. A total of four, it's the equivalent of a jumbo jet full of people dying every single month. The report says, noting that if 5,000 Americans per year died in plane crashes, air traffic would come to a halt until safety solutions were implemented. Unlike traffic, in Florida, there were 5,433 pedestrian deaths in the 10-year span, which is an annual average of 2.73 pedestrian deaths per 100,000 people, or a PDI calculated in the report as 182.0. Compare that to the next Orlando, at 656 deaths over the 10 years, recorded a scary PDI of 313.3, with number 2 Daytona Beach at 265 and number 3 Melbourne Titusville at 245. Number 4 Bradenton, between 2008 and 20017, there were 194 pedestrian deaths in Bradenton Sarasota North Port, or 2.58 deaths per 100,000 population, according to the report. In Miami Fort Lauderdale West Palm Beach, 1,549 pedestrians were hit and killed during the period for a PDI of 153.5. Compare Miami's, compare to like Stockholm, Berlin, and Copenhagen, where crash and death rates are much lower. Why is this happening? Authors of the report asked. We're not walking more. Federal and state transportation policies, blueprints, and funding are stuck in the age of the automobile, when sprawling growth patterns you especially in the Sun Belt you led to wider roads, longer blocks, and street engineering that prioritized high speeds for cars over safety for people on foot, on bikes or using mass transit, the report says. Among the victims, death rates are disproportionately high for the elderly, minorities and people walking in poor communities, data showed. Older adults are another cause of skyrocketing fatality rates is the growing popularity of SUVs and pickup trucks, which are two to three times more likely to kill a pedestrian in a crash than a sedan, according to a National Highway Traffic Safety Administration report. What needs to change, as cities seek to reduce Americans' dependency on cars, which advocates, the key is designing safer streets with slower traffic, sensible intersections, sidewalks, and bike lanes. The Federal Highway, the report urges stronger federal, state, and local commitment to intelligent planning, and suggests that state departments of transportation, like FDOT, set targets to reduce injuries and fatalities and face penalties if they don't meet them. In states such as, stop referring to pedestrian fatalities as unavoidable accidents, the report says, by replacing the word accident with crash when referring to these preventable deaths. January 23, 2019 11 a.m. More than $6 million in agreements were approved under the consent agenda at Tuesday evening's school board meeting, in Manatee County. For the most comprehensive local coverage, subscribe today.
real-time updates and all local stories you want right in the palm of your hand.